my name is Mallory for those of you who don't know me and I go by the brand name Trendy Vintage Classic across all social media platforms and eBay, Mercari and on Poshmark I am Trendy Vintage C. So I know it has been a little while. I've been pretty busy um, after the holidays and no these are not Christmas decorations. I've transitioned to winter. So yeah, it's been snowing a lot right now. There's ice coming down, so don't hate on my decorations. Anyway, um, I've been fixing my storage space in the basement, and also I have been taking on some consignment. So I've been pretty busy. Sorry that I have not uploaded a video. Um, hopefully I can try to become regular with that now that I have my kind of schedule all figured out. Um, but anyway, I would like to share with you guys, without wasting any time, some of my favorite sales from eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, that's it. So if you follow me on like Instagram or TikTok, you can see daily um, items that are bolos, be on the lookout for, items that you can buy pretty cheaply or inexpensively and then sell for a good profit. I list those a lot. I list every, I post every day, sorry, on my Instagram. So Trendy Vintage Classic, you can follow me there. Also, if you want to try out Mercari or Poshmark, I will link my um, code down below. And if you use my code, you can get a sign on bonus and I can get some kickback for it as well. So thank you if you do that better than just signing up and not getting anything, right? <laughs> so, um, without further ado, I'm gonna hop right into my eBay sales and we're gonna focus on January. So, today is February 4th, I know. So we're just gonna go over January since I did not post a video last month. I'll try not to make it too long. Um, I'll try to just highlight some good sales. So, as you all know, Peruvian Connection is a great brand to be on the lookout for. I picked up this beautiful maxi dress um, at a thrift shop. Yes, at a thrift shop. I paid about $6 for it. I was hoping to get a little more for it since it was a maxi dress, but I put my store on sale, which I have been doing more frequently. And I just want to give you guys some tips. If eBay has been kind of slow for you, Play around with um, some promotions, putting your store on sale. I've been trying to run a sale almost constantly, I would say. And and then when someone likes your item, send that offer out right away while it's still in their mind, in their head, and they want it. And I have gotten a lot of sales that way. So this was one of those sales. Um, it was $32.90, the buyer paid, plus $7.70 shipping. You have to take that into account that my buyers pay shipping on eBay. So that's also, that's over $40 they paid for this um, medium proving cor connection dress. Um, next is I do want to reference the fact that Christmas items and holiday items, I have another sale um, in a few minutes to talk about. Holiday items sell even out of season. So I'm an out of season shopper, even just for myself personally. Anyone who knows me knows I love clearance shopping. So I picked up this little cute guy. It says he's an Annalie 1993 Christmas Mary Elf. And this did not sell during the Christmas season and I was a little disappointed. I only paid a quarter for him. It was at a church um, thrift shop. And so I did accept the offer of $15 since it was out of season. Next. I picked up three of these Star Wars Mandalorian Baby Yoda because who doesn't love Baby Yoda, right? Um, and I also want to mention that, yes, while my um, focus when I am learning and researching and sourcing is primarily clothing, shoes, and accessories, I have been loving picking up plush and toys, like dollhouse furniture, things like that. At my local thrift shops, they sell them for like almost nothing. I could get dollhouse furniture for a dollar and, and I'll show you one of those sales. It was actually on Facebook Marketplace. Um, so 
I'm here to make money ultimately. Yes, I love fashion and clothing and vintage especially, but I wanna make money. So um, I picked up three of these on clearance at Target. This was retail arbitrage. I paid 250 for them. And I'm not going to show, I'll just show you the different prices that they sold for. One sold for $17.50, one sold for $20, and one sold for $15. So they were all over a $10 profit, and I didn't even have to. The, the great thing when you have more than one item is you only have to list it one time, and you can just change the quantity that's under the price, for those of you who don't know. And then people can just keep buying it. Next, I sold a polo. My favorite, my favorite men's brand to sell is Polo Ralph Lauren. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with specifically embroidery, patches, the little bear. Um, so yes, this Polo Ralph Lauren ribbed lamb's wool, wool, another favorite of mine to sell because it sells really well. Um, I picked this up for 90 cents at a Plato's 90% off clearance um, out of season, of course, and it sold for $20.30 plus $4.80 shipping. This again was a sale. Next, I was super excited about this find. It was my first time finding Dale of Norway. If For those of you who don't know what it is, I will pop the label up there so you can keep it look out for it this was vintage it was pure wool it had pewter clasps and they just have this really cool nordic look to them they have the nordic pattern and so really familiarize yourself with what they look for and because i had watched other people's videos i knew when i looked at it that i needed to check and see if it was dale of norway so this paid for this sold for 69 dollars I did pay up for it. I paid um, $12 or $15. I don't remember. $15. Yes. And um, the buyer paid $20.40 shipping. These sweaters are pretty hefty, so it was a little heavy. That's why. All right. So that was a very exciting sale. Next, I had another exciting sale. Polo Ralph Lauren again. This was hand knit, guys. Hand knit camel hair lamb's wool sweater vest. And it has a fair aisle print. Guys, I don't know how this happened, but there is a consignment store near me. And the woman who runs it is phenomenal. I always go there and source from her. And also just for personal, um, I just like to support her. She tends sometimes to get things in twos. I, I don't know if she has some connections or whatever, but she had two of these. So, of course... I grabbed them both. They were both extra large. One had a little bit of a flaw to it, so I did have to list them separately, but that wasn't a problem. So this one sold for $96, guys, on eBay, plus $8.55 shipping, and I paid $12 each for them. So that's exciting. Both of them did sell, by the way. The other one will come up. Next, I sold a vintage single stitch, just so you know. I didn't put it in the title, which I should have. That's a great keyword. Giants football crew neck sweatshirt, extra large. Um, and you can tell that it is vintage. It has the tag Lee Sport and it's just single stitch, like I said. So you just familiarize yourself with what um, single stitch looks like because that sells pretty well. Next, I, I'm gonna skip over that over that because those are the other baby Yodas. I'm not going to mention it twice. Um, okay, so next I want to talk about this Quaker, Quacker, Quacker Factory New Attack Women's Plus Size Flannel. Since we all know, or maybe you don't know, but now you will, plus size women's clothing is a great thing to get into because it sells very quickly. It, there's really a huge market out there. Um, this one sold for $25 plus $10.70 shipping and I paid $2 at a thrift store for it. Next was a cool um, doll sale, a toy. Bratz dolls, um, those of you who are into dolls know that Bratz, Monster High, LOL, um, any of those type of dolls sell, but this specifically, um, Bratz and Monster High are vintage dolls. They have like exaggerated makeup and clothing. 
Um, this one was one with like cowboy boots on and she had clothes on, which is always a plus because you find these and sometimes they don't have clothes. So she sold for 1870. Her name was Chelsea? No. I made that up. 1870 plus 525 shipping. Next was this Anthropology and Patrons of Peace collab. Now, I probably wouldn't have gotten this um, kimono if it was not a collab with Anthro because regular Patrons of Peace I can find at just Marshalls and I just, you know, don't think much of it. But beach cover-ups do pretty well. Um, and that's why it's important at list year round because we're not in summer over here. I'm on the East Coast. It's snowing and ice is out. Um, and this sold on January 20th. So last week or two for $22, which was an offer I accepted and 515 shipping. All right, next I wanna talk about my other summer type item that sold Lily Pulitzer. We all know that that is a bolo. Um, you do have to be careful because um, we know Goodwill marks up clothing like Lily Pulitzer. So this one I actually only paid $8 for and it sold for $63 plus $10.90 shipping. It's beautiful. Look at this sequin um, detail, the bright pink. I really loved it, honestly. I, I wanted to keep it, but you know, you got to pay the bill. All right, the next two sales, i probably just going to end with because these are two really great ones. Um, if you're looking to get into clothing or just to add to your sales on eBay, coats and jackets are an amazing way to make profit. So I picked up this Victoria Knox men's extra large quilted puffer jacket. It's orange and puffer jackets are definitely still in style so our quilted style jackets i paid ten dollars for this at a yard sale at a community large um community yard sale last summer and i had it listed for like over a hundred dollars because it's victoria knox but it didn't sell maybe it's the color i don't know so i did accept an offer of 71 dollars. so that's still over $60 profit, under $60 after fees, but that's still great um, for just one single sale. You know, if you wanna get your average sales price, your ASP higher, um, focus on jackets and shoes, that's my advice. The next sale as well, um, this was a J. Crew men's medium wool, wool coat. And the inside was quilted that that's what made it a little more interesting i paid eight dollars at a consignment store for this and it sold for 64 dollars plus 1830 shipping this was a really nice coat and i don't have to keep repeating it wool is wonderful just make sure you inspect it and make sure there's no holes in it so that is all i'm going to highlight for ebay i don't want to bore you guys too much oh no i'm going to show you the next one i'll pop it up there the other Polo Ralph Lauren Lance Wool Sweater vest sold for $100 plus $9.25 shipping. And I'll show you that right up there. I lied. And <laughs> these Halloween slippers, new, um, they were a size 12 women's, but I think it was a 10 men's. And they definitely were like creepy, spooky. I put all of that in the keywords, I put scarecrow. I didn't put Halloween because it's not Halloween, but maybe I should have, I don't know. But I actually got these for free, guys. I'm a part of, if you're on Facebook, you should definitely try to join one of those Facebook groups that um, sends out coupon codes and deals. And so I go on that in the morning when I'm having my coffee and just um, like watching other YouTube videos and learning and I got this text message with a coupon code. So what it does is it, it couples the lightning deal on Amazon Prime. You have to have Amazon Prime, which I do, with a coupon code. And sometimes you can get things up to free. Sometimes it's $3. You know, either way, they're really good deal. So these are actually snagged for free and sold them, resold them for $29. So that's amazing. That's pure profit right there. Um, I'm definitely... I'm never wasting my time. Like if I'm sitting doing nothing or watching TV, I'm on that app waiting for 
texts to come through and trying to get them. A lot of times you have to be super quick and I don't get it, but hey, this one paid off. So, all right, so that is it for eBay. Next, I'm gonna quickly talk about Mercari. And I have been having a really good month on Mercari. I will say, if you're not sure, my, again, code will be in the description if you wanna join and get some money back for joining and give me some money for joining. That would be great. Um, I had a pretty good month in January. I don't sell like a super ton amount on Mercari, but it's definitely worth that extra random money that just gets put into my account, my business account. So on January 5th, I sold these men's size 17. I know that was a risk, though that's a really big size. Um, Nike Zoom Freak Oreo something. Um, I actually got these retail arbitrage at the Nike outlet and it was during a time, it was during tax free week. So I like to get things during that week because there's no tax, obviously. I actually only paid $20 for these. Um, they were on clearance, probably because of the size they were, and they sold for $95 plus shipping on Mercari. So that was amazing. Next was, um, so sneakers and plush sell super on Mercari. So next were this lot of new tags. They're called microbes. And it's basically like, it teaches you about like cells and things like that in your body. It's like a science-based type of plush toy that sold for $23. And I bought each of those for about a dollar each. Wasn't a huge profit, but hey, I'll take it. I thought they were very interesting for some kids to learn about those things. So then I sold this pair of Picolinos, Picolinos shoes. Um, they had this very pretty like cutout detail to them and they sold for $25. Someone sent me an offer. I had them up for 40 and I was just ready to let them go because I had them for a couple months already. Next um, was this exciting sale. I'm still selling my Disney Zoom Zooms. My nieces told me I was saying it wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Zoom Zooms. Um, <laughs> so this was the Mulan set. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, of course, I'll put it up above. Um, I got these for 25 cents each. So it cost me under $2 for the entire set of Mulan, um, since there's six of them. And it sold for $75 plus shipping. So that was really amazing. And they're super small, so it's not hard to store. Like jackets and things can get pretty cumbersome to store, but little plush like this, I was super excited with that sale. Um, next, Sonic the Hedgehog. There was two, it was Sonic and Knuckles that sold for an offer of $26. I was happy to accept. Um, I don't try to get too much money over just like basic plush, so I'm ready to just flip them. I think I paid $2 each for those, so it was something. Um, so yeah, so that was Mercari. Um, it's like I said, always just extra money. Oh, I'm bringing up Poshmark, I'm sorry. So you definitely want to multi um, cross post and not put all your eggs in one basket. You know, you've heard that saying, I'm sure, you're, I'm sure your whole life, and it's definitely true when it comes to reselling. On Facebook Marketplace, I've been selling so many toys that I just picked up for a dollar and it's been it's been cool to just get that money with such low amount of fees taken in um taken out because Poshmark as I'm about to show you takes out 20 percent so if I could sell it on Facebook Marketplace I definitely give my buyers a better deal and I'm more than happy to accept offers because I know I'm getting most of my full amount um, so here on Poshmark for January, I sold these polo, again, Ralph Lauren corduroy pants. They were vintage and they were in good condition. Those sold for an offer of $25. A White House black market blouse. It was this black chiffon, flutter sleeves, very pretty, an offer of $21. Um, people are, are thinking about vacations. They want to get out of this cold already. So I sold, I sold two um, swimwear items. This was a shore shapes um, one piece and let's 
see. Yes, size 14. That sold. Then, um, this is one of my consignment items that I was telling you guys about that I've been focused on kind of figuring out and sorting through. Um, when I do consignment for someone, usually how it goes, what I've heard other resellers say is they take 60% and the co-signer, the person who you're consigning with gets 40%. And I would do 50-50. The only reason is I have to save 25% of all my profits for taxes. So that just kind of, you know, um, goes into that. So this is a beautiful Cartier Paris, made in Paris, men's belt, oh, made in Italy. Sorry, Cartier Paris, made in Italy, excuse me, brown um, leather belt. And that sold of an offer of $90 from a buyer. And so that's great. So I will be getting 60% of that. More than happy with that. Next, I sold these Everlane cropped wide leg size six black jeans. Everlane, as you all know, is a wonderful jean to sell. Um, I've sold the jean jackets, especially the cropped wide leg. Wide leg is super in and high rise. You know that that sold with an offer that someone sent to me for $40 and I picked that up at a thrift store. I think I did pay like $8 for them, um, but I knew it would sell quickly. So when you know something's gonna sell quickly, it's okay to not make as big of a profit as you would want because you just want your to help your store's algorithm. And by that, I mean, when, when you sell something or list something for the first time or relist it, it just, get some movement going, get you in the rhythm, boost up your um, listings towards the, bumps it up to the top. So I will pick up something for $10, even if I know it's gonna sell for 40, because it's it's a quick sale, why not? It's still profit. So, and it's even better when Poshmark, you can use stock photos, eBay, you can get in trouble for that, but on Poshmark, that's the plus size with it. And like I said, I have a code below if you wanna try it out. All right, next was this texture and thread made well black crop tie blouse. This took a while to sell. I don't think I would pick up something like that again. Um, then this Bowden dress, this was a newer tag. Um, the newer tag has the little blue circle. If you're not familiar, Cheetah Print is still selling. So this I picked up for $5.99 at a Goodwill and I wore it a couple times and then sold it, so nothing better than that. Um, let's see, anything else here? I sold these Woolrich um, women's pants. They were new with tag, size 16. So like I said, those bigger sizes are always, um, always worth getting after looking up comps, of course. And another great vintage find, um, this was Kristen Blake, a vintage peacoat. It was this pretty green. It was um, merino lands wool. I love lands wool. It's just the quality is amazing. And this um, surprisingly had no tears in it at all. It was in great condition. So this was a really great sale right there. Um, I will be popping the pictures up above so you can see how much because I'm just scrolling through my order. So sorry, I'm not saying the amount that they sold for. Um, but I did basically like, honestly, I think I paid probably a quarter for that jacket. I'm not even exaggerating. I went to a thrift store that had to fill a bag day for $3 and it could be any bag. So of course I had my Ikea bags and just started filling it with jackets because I know that that's the most profitable thing to do. So that I barely paid anything for that. And I still have a few more, um, beautiful vintage coats on my site. Then these Bernie Mev wedge shoes. These were actually pretty popular. They were getting a lot of attention. So I did, I do want to mention them for that reason. Um, I also sold a J Crew new with tag red bikini bottom, Stefano man vintage medium swimming trunks. So you're seeing the trends here. Like people are shopping for summer Figs, of course, um, you know that that is a bowl of figs, new at tag. I sold that, that was a 2XL, again, a plus size. 
um, an All Saints New With Tag Ribbed Beanie. Um, and these Cocoa Beach Swim Swim Skirt, Swim Skirt New With Tag, size extra large. So you see here, Lori by, um, logo by Lori Goldstein, um, size 2X, this beautiful like orangish color top, plus size guys, plus size is where it's at and the larger sizes definitely stay on top of that. Lori Goldstein or is a basic bread and butter for me. I sell a lot of her tops, even if they're for 15 to 25 dollars, it still keeps your store moving. That's what I'm saying. And another below is Vionic shoes. Um, these beautiful suede swing back heels sold and I only paid six dollars for those. So I was very happy with that. And then Mark Fisher as well. That's another great um, brand. You do want to look up comps for this. This one I actually did buy um, retail arbitrage as well. I bought these from a TJ Maxx and I paid $12 for them. They sold for $40. I was hoping they would sell for $60, but I did accept the offer of $40, leaving my earnings to be $32. So, you know, still a $26 profit. I'm fine with that. I got to throw up a stock photo. They were new, so I didn't have to clean them. You guys know I hate cleaning shoes. So, all right. So, that is it. Um, you know what? No, I want to check my Facebook Marketplace sales actually. I, so my dollar store near my house is remodeling. So they did like a going out of business. They're not going out of business, but they did a huge sale. They started at 30%, then 50, then 75, then 90. So I picked up some toys. So at the moment, this Star Wars um, toy figurine just sold. I only paid $2 for him and he sold for 21. And let's see. Let me see what else has been selling up here. So I also got a huge lot of like dollhouse toys. And at the thrift store that I go to, they, like I said, they'll pack them in just like a little Ziploc bag and put a dollar on them. And that was an exciting sale for me because that sold for like $30, $29 and I paid a dollar for them. And I just think it's, it's kind of fun and entertaining. I have a light box. Um, if you're unfamiliar with that, it's just like a square and it has foil on the sides in white. And I can link in the description the light box that I bought off of Amazon. It was only like $40. And it's good for taking pictures of smaller items, plush, little toys, um, shoes even. And that has really helped brighten my pictures up. You want that nice white background because Google prioritizes white backgrounds in their search. So if you want your items to come up in the Google search, really focus on that first photo, that main photo that shows up. Make sure it's bright, clear, nothing crazy in the background, no distractions and a plain white background. So yeah, that is it guys. Um, thank you for checking back in with me. I hope this video helped you out a lot. Feel free to leave your comments down below on what good bowls you have sold this month. And I hopefully, God willing, we'll be back next week with a regular What Sold video. Thank you. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.